Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Let's start off this morning before I wake these guys up, because you know they're 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 all sound asleep. Um, Inga wrote in to let me know that something that I realized afterward, but these these really strong platforms that I built for these guys. I couldn't figure out why the little message wasn't in there saying it needs a really strong base. It's because it was for this one. So <laughs> I forgot which one it was. So I don't need to waste all that concrete on these guys. These guys can sit anywhere. It would be nice if we can sit them up on the roof, but I don't think that's... No, that's not a thing. But we could put it up on a high wooden platform just to, you know, kind of put it up in the air or something. But these guys need to be for this one. So, and also, she and Robert wrote in letting me know that these cannot be this close to each other. I don't know why that is. I figured that people tend to put them, you know, over here and over there just for aesthetics. You know, it, it'd look better if they weren't next to each other. But both wrote in to say, they indicate that there was actually a problem if I did it. So, what I'm going to do is take these guys out completely. I think I can let this guy run on slow and they'll be off doing their own thing here before long but let's let's see here let's grab this guy horizontal or vertical and do something like that uh, floor constructions cancel and we'll cancel this guy all the concrete that was brought over this guy can be deconstructed okay so that clears up that we'll put a single one in here though I still don't know if the bugs that are I, I, I know that the bugs will start to attack more often once we assemble these things and it will you know it's letting off a frequency that is attracting the bugs that's kind of the idea i don't know if they're going to target it directly or if they're just going to come and attack us more times so i don't know if i need to strengthen right here where it's going to be or just continue make, you know making sure our gauntlet's good so if you know that answer, let me know. I'm kind of curious. But let's put together another base. Uh, floor, still a 5x5. Five five. Let's go planks. We have lots of wood. We'll do right in there. Yeah, it was oh, one more. There we go. So you're going to go there. And is it X and V? Yeah. You want that guy up in the air? Why did it just do that? Interesting. Huh. Go up one higher and it freaks out. Okay. That's it. So if we were to pop you into there, we can have this guy up in the air a little above the trees. I think it would uh, it would look better. Yeah, we'll do that. We're no longer 300 and some concrete behind. That's good to see. And a lot of banging noise. Oh, I had Carter rebuild us over here. Okay. So new dog house plan and boxer should be able to to handle that one now i hope <laughs> that was funny last time just went to sleep out in the grass ignored it completely um let's see i asked simon to get all of the the uh, fuel barrels up and running i asked umiar to get all of the bricks up and running and you're still sleeping, okay. And then somebody, who was it? it wasn't Kana, it wasn't Edmund, maybe. Oh, it was Carter, no, maybe it was Kana. Yeah, she's handling furnaces. Asked her to get uh, concrete running. So give them all some morning tasks before they get started on their on their day-to-day -day stuff. So that guy can build over there. Also turn this one on, but we need to go get some some um, ore and I don't want too much of the day to go by before that happens Carter you are 74% let's top off your food what are you doing right now you're doing nothing you're deconstructing what you doing oh you're tearing that down that's not too critical I want to bring it a loaf of bread and then I want you to go out and do some some mining some go and find some ore let me think here. You are silicone, but you're ore. And there's ore right there. Okay. So you tackle this guy. Obstructed. Access obstructed. We can't get to that. Interesting. There's ore that the game has somehow blocked. Okay. Then you jump into this one. 
get these guys going. And one more. Let's send you this direction. Um, let's have you do like these two. Edmund, you are also a good miner. You are eating. You are getting something to eat. Then you need to relax. So we'll send you from there to here to there. Between those three, that should be enough. So let's get you out to do the other ones. <clears throat> let's see. We were over here. Yeah. You can hit these four. And then you can hit these closer two. And... I guess if there's still time, we'll just send you out this direction. Carter, you too. I have a feeling neither of you are going to get uh, that close, that, that far into this. But that gets some ore at least onto the map. Whether it's them bringing it back or Simon later, that's fine. Okay, so with that going, because we need alloy to finish this guy. We need alloy to build both of the antennas. You need a lot of it. And there's a few other things we're going to need. That's right. Did we ever... We did. I never got a, never stopped to look at this. We got some hydroponic racks going. Now, how does this work? I have never built these before. Uh, forbid survivors to plant. We're not actually planted right now. No crop has been planted. Okay. So we can turn it off. We can choose the circuit. We can fertilize, harvest. I guess we just go to farming. What would be great to have inside? I've never stopped to even think about that. Glitter caps? Sure. Okay, that didn't work. So we can't plant that way. All right, how do you plant this thing? Try it again. Plant, yes or no. Fertilize, yes or no. Harvest, yes or no. Change crop. Ah. Okay, glitter caps is the assumption. Although buzz shrooms, eh, there's something to be said about that. Let's let's buzz shrooms this now. Is that both? I click this guy. Change crop. I assume I have to do each one separately. Although that's no longer on the list. So I guess that's not the case. So are we officially planting both with this? Uh, Rita, you are sleeping. When you wake up, let's have you plant two mushrooms. Okay. Maybe we'll get a chance to see that. Um, you're waking up now. There you are. Okay, let's see what happens here. You're going to flat out ignore me. Okay, come on over and do this one now. Let's see it happen. Can I see it from this side? There we go. Alright, she just threw the seeds out and boom, done. Okay, what do we know about it? We're consuming two. We were consuming one before. Integrity 200 or 200. Oh, that's the individual one. Or both of them combined. I get ya. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just let that one run and see what happens. Okay. So, we've got Carter and Eben figured out for the day. What else? Uh, Simon will probably drop it off. Start dropping off materials here. Uh, Kana, you are handling. Then you need to get food and everything else. So, we'll just leave you alone for a while. Carter's on his way. Edmund is, is relaxing and getting the rest of his of his bar is up, though so he's basically there. Carter's in good shape already. So Edmund is on his way. Good. Still have this toxic ash going on. We're short materials. That's why we're mining. Yeah. Um, so these messages could all go away if it let me. Okay. Paulette. I set you to cook a couple of foods right off the bat just to make sure that that got done that you need to get something to eat. Rita is planting. I asked her to do... Actually, I wanted her to go over and get this one done. We'll do that first. Yeah. Get the uh, get our pumpkins going. Is there anything out here to harvest? Give us more variety. I didn't actually see any pumpkin plants when I was looking around. I mean, I saw none. 
I don't remember them coming in later in the year. Like it seems like one year I was kind of surprised they were available so quickly, but I don't see anything anymore. I mean, we've got these grasses. And that is it. There used to be huge fields of them. Interesting. These are berries, and they're, they've been there before, but there were pumpkins all over here. And there were pumpkins all over here. Huh. Well, butter squash, I think is what they call it. No, not butter squash. Butter melons. Hmm. So for some reason, all the natural ones have died off, or they... There they are. They are still around somewhere. So does that mean they're still over here? Just really, really tiny? Yeah, there they are. Okay, never mind. Panic's over. <laughs> um, there might yet be some blueberries up here. No, nothing is showing ripe. Although they'd be a different color. We would see the blue on the bushes. That needs to be cut down. This is the big patch nearby and there's no blue in here okay so nothing we can early harvest that's what I wanted to know okay so Rita Simon's been doing things and he is off doing other things now he's gonna get some food soon Edmund is out there uh, Paulette is eating good Kana you just finished eating great hopefully you're relaxing now you are transporting you are getting ready to tailor something though your relaxation is really low let's get that preemptively figured out before something unexpected drops in on us like this burning cruise vessel okay he heavily burning cruise small cruise vessel crash near the horizon maybe someone survived or there is something worth salvaging I'm interested and I wouldn't mind having yet another survivor to join us before we leave. That'd be kind of fun. Don't know where to put them. They may have to share a you know share a room. Yeah. Who's gonna go out and find the person if there is a person? Umiar is probably best not. We've got this toxic ash right now, so not great to send anybody out at the moment, though I expect it's gonna end soon. It's been going for a while. Oh interesting. Yeah, Edmund and Carter way off in the distance there. Huh. Okay, so the one that is coming down now, explore. Cruise ship debris burning. There we go. We have four days to do it. I wonder if the odds change the longer you wait. It's, yeah, four days. But if you got there in the first day, would you have a better chance of, of getting something? I don't know. We normally sell, send Edmund. Rita's kind of needed, although she's got a pretty good handle on everything. We're, we're pretty well planted up. How far away is it? I'll let that decide. If it's not that far, if it's five or six hours of the most, then we can lose one day of spring and still be fine. Expeditions uh, right over there. It is 11 hours away. Whoever I send is committed. Okay. Um... Will they need high physical? It's said that there might be something interesting or there might be a survivor. Look at that description one more time. Just remains of a cruise ship. So I don't think we're going to find ore. We may find, may find scrap metal. I have a, a feeling we're just going to find items. Let's do it, and let's send... Though I wish that I could pass over right here and see all their bars. Has Simon had a meal? His happiness is pretty low. Carter's busy, Edmund's busy. Kana has not gone out to something like this. Her happiness is getting better. Umayar is maxed out. But he's going to be outside the entire time with a negative 15 the whole time he's gone. Huh... Let's send Kana. Let's see what she can do. Send Expedition. And she is playing it. I already had her program to do that. Great. That's going to top her off. And 
yeah with that there that's going to go up her rest is fine she's good okay simon is transporting he's cleaning up our mess over here simon are you capable of tearing things apart can you deconstruct or did or are you the one that absolutely hated to deconstruct crafting no somebody was it actually i'm not sure who somebody hated construction oh indifferent that is you right there okay so never mind uh simon you just continue as you were oh my R. your construction is basically non-existent paulette's busy yeah we'll just wait somebody will get the order to do that you are harvesting silicon oh these came up okay not sure that we're really using a lot of silicon right now silicon 355 not as much as i thought i thought we'd have many many hundreds so sure I'll go ahead and do that okay so you're putting that away on an expedition gonna grab a couple meals paulette is cooking a couple more meals nope don't do the oil paulette let's just keep cooking oh you can't you can make fruits flambe mushroom croquets let's do that yeah oils right there we've got 40 and no we got 30 and 10 i guess we will need that eventually but let's get our food count up as far as we can we have 42 so three grain porridge four breads two veggie stews i feel like i missed something in there oh there it is two meat soups okay that's that's a decent quantity but still it's only a you know, a day and a half for us. Harvesting. How's the mining going? How's the health for the miners out there? Shortness of breath. But that's it. Edmund. Same thing. So it's not harming you guys too much. Okay. Getting very red out there. Four in the afternoon. Kind of a... Well, not really a sunset thinking the sun's right up in here can't go up any higher just very very orange toxic ash okay here's one that is ripe and ready to plant or ready to harvest stop so does that mean that others are going to be randomly available soon nothing there nice to get a little more variety available to us oops too far i want to be here don't see anything well can i just not see them ours highlighted because it's part of a crop these are not research emergency rations okay um so orders and harvest anything show up in here nothing okay so those simply are not available emergency rations that was the last thing for us to research we could turn the research desk off yep that's consuming 20. let's do that because we are done right we're empty we're not going to need hay cloth or hay sausages not going to do synthetic cloths um the freezer is grayed out is there a reason for that and the stimulus is grayed out. Oh, we have to first find or you know, get buzz shrooms. Okay. Let's remember that one. Otherwise, carbon fortifications. I guess we can get it on the list. All right, we'll toss that in there. And I wish I could just toss that in preemptively, but I can't. Okay, there's that. Otherwise, I want him to start cooking. Although he could handle a lot of the the little stuffs around here. He could. Especially these. So this would be handle. So Umayar, your tasks. You're down here. You first research. Your next two is heal. We skip handle. We go to cut and ranch. And then deliver. 
let's make that handle your next priority. Okay, we'll give that one a try. So this has been partially stocked. I'm thinking that uh, yeah, Simon is responsible for that. Paulette reached cooking 10. Wow. She is a master chef now. At least master chef on an alien world. Rita is harvesting. We got a bunch of the glitter caps done. All right, so mining. All of the local mining is done. We're all out here in this area. Edma has taken out the meteor. And we're just cleaning up these four. How are we doing health-wise? How are we doing everything else-wise? Relaxation's hurting, but our happiness is fine. Food and rest are okay. We're at 1,900 hours. You are on your, your last one. Edmund, you're decent, except you're really getting hungry. And that's affecting your happiness. But you only have one more to do. Hmm. Just debating whether to have him go pick up all the other ones. Okay, Carter, you're going to add this to your list. Edmund, when you're done, you're going to pick up... Um, I'll leave these. Carter can get these. You're going to pick up these. And then, hello, Mr. Dodo Bird. You're going to head over to... I'm not even close, am I? Let me see it from this angle. It was over here. Then you're going to... Am I paused? Yeah. You're going to head over to here. And I know there's more over here. Alright, let's see if we can get you to do all those things. Whereas Carter's going to stay longer. I uh, lost you guys. And only bring in these, but he's going to be out there... Oh, I queued those up. Okay, never mind. Edmund, next. <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay, so reset all that. They're good to go now. Edmund's going to transport Carter's going to get these last two, then clean up the ore in this area. Either way, it's going to put both of them home really late. So, but it should put them home pretty evenly. With Edmund leaving now, but carrying more stuff so where are we evening wise 2100 hours Paulette is still cooking good and we are a third of the way through is the final research there and so research emergency rations but wrapping a lot of food preservatives and a good heat treatment can give any tasty old meal a second life <laughs> And Paula acquired enough practical experience to increase her cooking skill. And Toxic Ash is still here. Alright, so how is... Who do we send? We sent Kana. How is Kana doing health-wise? Uh, shortness of breath is all. She has five hours yet to get there. Going to the Burning Cruise Vessel. Okay, that's all we know so far. Up and running, Simon is transporting leathers, so he must have emptied this guy out. Nothing in any of these. Doghouse. There's Boxer. And what do we know about Boxer today? Um, we know his output when butchered. <laughs> Training has not been happening. Ah, okay. So Rita, let's go ahead and kick your training up so that you do that once every day. Activities, Rita, so we're doing, that would be ranching, so the harvesting is first, then we, then we ranch, then we train, and then we plant. I think that works. I think that works. So should get to it when there's nothing to harvest, which in the spring, that shouldn't be that often. You know, these, there's some rare exceptions here, but most of the time, she's just planting. Okay. Um, on our way back, Carter is now transporting. Edmund's transporting, but he's going the long way. Edmund's, or Carter's going to collect and then come straight. Should still work out okay for them, though. We are at midnight. Yeah, they're going to be malfunctioning ceiling light, and Edmund has an illness. 
Yeah, he's out there sick in the toxic, which I th really thought the toxic ash would be over by now. It's been going for a couple of days. I mean, it was halfway through last episode. I thought that would have ended and he would have come back fine. We'll see how that goes. Ceiling light will get taken care of when... Well, I won't let me get rid of it. Okay, I'll leave those three up there then. Simon, you're getting back. I'm wondering about these guys coming back and Simon making the trip. That might be wise. It, it is midnight. It's one in the morning. Okay. So draft, undraft, and you get back. Oh, wait a minute. That was Edmund illness. I, I was thinking Edmund was on the hot air balloon. It's Okay, Khan is out there. That's right. I'm so used to Edmund being there, I don't even have to think about it. Okay, so you're going to pick up your last one. Nope, you never did get to it. You're just going away. Okay. Well, let's leave you where you are and draft and send you back. You will run. Well, after this late, you will slow jog. Like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hurry up now. It's still going to be 4 in the morning before they get home. Even without bringing the stuff in. Simon's going to sleep. Tomorrow morning, maybe he can go get that that ore. I could probably set him to do that now, right? Now, nah, better... Well, it's just rest. It's just rest. Yeah, I could do that. Let's race over here and see if we can find it. So, if I were to do there, right? Or, yeah. So, Simon, when you're done, you're, tomorrow morning, you're going to haul the ore. And then over here, you're going to also haul some ore. And you're going to haul some ore. All right. Hopefully, you can do that all in one chain. All right, Kana, she arrived. I recognize the shapes of a cruise ship, or at least what was left of it after the monstrous crash. I'll make note of the location for further future visits. Ah, there will surely be things to scavenge once it cools down. Don't waste time. Look for survivors. It poses some risk. And my lungs soon filled up with smoke as I was making my way around the crash, looking for survivors. I covered my nose and mouth best I could, kept looking for the longest time, but I didn't find anyone. I was going back to the balloon when I tripped on something which turned out to be a first aid box. Okay, so grab whatever's inside and come on back. Alrighty. So that's fine. That gets gets her on her way back. Got some more first aid kits. And no more survivors. But another close uh, expedition to make repeatedly if we want to. In fact, does it say it there yet or do we have to get back first? Uh, yeah, we've got to get back first, then it'll reset. But it should be very similar to this. Cruise ship debris. And we can return repeatedly. This one's ten hours away. And this one always gave us clothing. That's what I remember. Meanwhile, Edmund and Carter are just making it back. It's going on dawn. So it's three in the morning and it's getting bright. Winter time, that's five or six in the morning. Middle of spring, though. Hmm. Anyway, Edmund, what was your actual disease? Does it say here? Um, uh, six survivors. Okay, so you're not going to tell me there. So Edmund and disease, blood poisoning. Oh, from the ash. Okay. Then why didn't Carter? Maybe that was just a, a random chance and Carter rolled the dice better. Or he just hasn't been hit yet. He's way out there. Wow, he's way out there. He's uh, low mood. Night music. Ooh, music night. <laughs> night music. <laughs> Read that backwards. Um, Carter's okay still. He's he's gonna make it, but he's still got a long way to go. Yeah, we better send Simon to go do that stuff. Anyway, waiting for treatment. Paulette, you are our doctor. So 
take you in. Edmund awaiting treatment right there. And... Heal. Why is it red? I don't have Paulette chosen, that's why. There we go. Reserved by Urmar. Nope, we're going to have Paulette do that. You go back to researching, you're almost done. Then we'll have you cooking. Oh, we'll have you handling, that's what it was. And then, when handling is done, make sure you drop into cooking. So, handling. And then... Cut. Hello. Oh, that's right. I didn't respond. Music night? Sure. We'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, so Umayar. Ranch is... Well... Your ranching skill is basically nothing. So, no. I want you cooking next. Your cooking skill was not bad. Rita's the next best, but you're definitely trainable. So, that's your next two. Okay. That takes care of all that. Carter's finally getting here at 6 in the morning. Half dead. Did Edmund... He's recovering. Does that mean he's sleeping? Rest is at 87% already. Okay. So, Carter, you are going to eat. And I hope I don't have to tell you to go to sleep. Although, according to this, you're going to go relax first. That's, that's a good thing. Happiness is all the way down. Though we didn't get a... Uh, a warning there. Extremely unhappy without a warning. Interesting. Maybe it's because the game knew it was going to fix that real quick. Carter already, well, beginning to move up. But he's at a low mood now. Do that. You're going to get something to, you're going to reduce some relaxing. You are playing the didgeridoo. Now, will you go to bed on your own, or will you try and go back to work? That's something I'm curious about. Paulette just made some more porridge. I noticed that. Ah, Carter playing. So, Edmund, when you're done, you are officially still recovering. You're at 100%. There you go. Now you are relaxing, drinking. That's relaxing. When you're done, I'll have you come out here and clean this up. Deconstruct those. And if we do no stairs to this, I want to see if they can still set up the antenna on top. Throw up a ladder and do that. If the bugs do try to attack it, then it might be wise to uh, not give them a way up. Let's go ahead and select all the fencing right here and reconstruct you into brick and we should see Simon in fact let's do this whole stretch here too fencing carbon fortifications why didn't it give me what I wanted let's try that again maybe because we're double selected here there we go reconstruct you as brick fence reconstruct this whole corner before this guy goes in. Carter is standing on top of what he's tearing down. And I asked Edmund to do that. Carter, dude, go to bed. When you're done with that, you're going to bed. Edmund, you are deconstructing. Okay, I'm confused. Carter, are you not? You are... I'm paused, aren't I? You are constructing. Okay, I get it. No cued research. Yep. In fact, let's just tell this guy to turn off for a while. We'll save the uh, save the electricity, the batteries. Okay. So Carter is determined to continue constructing. Well, he had a few of them in queue. That's why. Edmund is tearing that down. Then he will probably drop into constructing yeah Carter is Carter okay we're done you just go to bed knock that off Rita's doing some random harvestings these guys and then she should be done though these are acting like they want to pop now they're 75% so blue doesn't mean harvest that means that it's getting in later stages got it what else Simon is out there transporting, and he got his 80 plus 20 plus 20. 
He's got 120 coming in. Great. Simon, how are you doing otherwise? You need a you need some food when you get back, but you have the fastest walk, so I don't worry so much about you taking too long to come in for something like food. Umiar is handling furnaces because he's no longer researching. Good. So he's going to be catching up with all the little things so Simon can just be hauling. Is that what it's called? Um, delivering. That's what it's called. So including all of the carbon um, nanotubes that are stashed way up there we never went back for. Um, defenses, we've got this... I guess you're in here. Fortifications. Wait, what new popped into here? Oh, so now we've got carbon walls as well as the force field walls. So these guys just takes nanotubes. Ooh, I like that better. Much better, though. I bet it's taller. I wonder if I could even put it here and be able to shoot and hit bugs right below us. Probably not. That's what this one benefit of this tiny little brick wall is they can shoot over it. Hmm. So where best to use something like this? Maybe right in this area in case they break through. That's possible. Huh. Have to keep that one in mind. Could they shoot through the force field though? Defense. Get in here a little better. Why it won't? Sh oh, because I clicked there. Never mind. Try that again. Defenses, fortifications, you. So if I were to click there, I bet you they could shoot through that. Can energy beams? No, these are bullets. Hmm. That's right. Those are not energy like like the laser beam. These are actual bullets. It's a machine gun turret. Would this force field stop our bullets as well as it would stop their projectiles? That I don't know. Um, so where do we want to put a landing pad? So when we put this guy out here... We're going to receive ships on it. We're going to send ships out, meaning rescue ships or supply ships. So it would be nice to be able to get to it. I don't know that we need it within our base, though we could drop it right there. And be with behind a wall during that time, in case it comes down right in the middle of, a, of an attack. Interesting. Um... I don't see any complaint here other than the floor. We could put it there, couldn't we? We've got bread rotten away. Wow. I haven't seen that happen in a long time. So if we were to put it here, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven. Huh. There's a lot going on over there. I'm, I'm trying to think here, guys. Over here, we've got rough terrain. So we can't do this. We could get away... No, we can't even do it here. All rough terrain in here, too. So that's the only spot for this. All right, let's buy. Let's build a very low concrete wall, or a floor, 7x7 seven seven here. Then we'll go check up on all these messages. So housing, floor, concrete. Um, it will interact with this right here. If I were to go here... Back up a little bit so I can see more. Alright, so you're there. 7 by 6. 7 by 7 is out there. I gotta... Yeah, we're gonna lose the staircase over here. Or any use of the staircase. Yeah. Let's dump that. Deconstruct. And find somebody nearby to do that so I can continue setting this up. 
Uh, Omiyar is a little busy right now. Paulette's busy. Kana is falling apart. What's... Oh, she got back. And she went straight to work. Okay, Kana. Let's grab your... Oh, veggie stew. And let's play a didgerit... No, we've got to have you ready for music night. At 1900. Ah, okay. F eat and then quickly get a nap. That should take care of you. Who else is in really rough shape for music night? Um, relaxation. Carter is sleeping. He's almost done. Let's get you in here and play in the hand pan right now. Omiar is in decent shape, but yeah, we could relax you a, a bit too. Kana, Edmund, you could use a meal. So pop in here and grab a... Boy, I wish we had the uh, pumpkins available. You like the butter melon pie. Give you a porridge. Let's see, Simon, fullness. Yeah, bring you in here. Simon likes the meat pie. What are you doing right now? You're transporting. Oh, you're still on your way in. Okay, so grab that one. Then you have another transport order. Simon's a long way out there. All right, drop it. And what are you transporting right now? 40. So you've already made the trip once. All right, come on straight in here and grab a... No, grab a meat pie. Nope, just meat soups there. Okay, just do that one. And that did que end your queue. Yep. Yeah. Rita, you are in decent shape. Yep, yeah, you'll be fine. Paulette, you're in good shape. Carter is being worked on. Okay. So, let's see. Umiar, your food was... Yeah, you're 60%. You're going to be okay, too. All right. So, that takes care of the immediate needs. Though, it would have been nice to have gotten somebody to go do this. Paulette... Umayar really is probably the best candidate. You've got a whole bunch of the handle jobs, but you'll automatically pull those back into your queue as soon as you do this. You just grab the nearest handle task. So let's get you to do that so I can lay this thing out. So we'll get this guy built, and we'll set this other one on top. Can I set it there now? Yeah. I'm pretty sure building it does not... Um, trigger the bugs it's using it and I see that we need a power cell and we don't have that anyway so it's gonna be quite a while before that's built but before our well 1900 is coming up all right so handling a hot air balloon good so let's put back there in the floor concrete and did we go right up against it I think we want one space okay we'll do that seven by seven Zoom out a little bit there. Yeah, that looks well-centered. Okay, you're going there. And is there a way to connect these two? It kind of is. Cool. Wooden planks, I'm pretty sure. So, housing, flooring, wood planks. Oh, I can. Good. So let's run you to there. Perfect. Although, we're going to have a blast of, of rocket ship exhaust here. Kind of wonder if that shouldn't be uh, concrete. Just for aesthetics. Probably should be. Can I go from there and hold shift? I cannot. Alright, so cancel you. And let's convert you over. Now we're all concrete. Let you go. Looking for a Simon. He made it in. Good. So you guys hop in here and eat. And then we're going to start doing our other things. But So carbon fortifications. We never did peek at that. Let's do that real quick. Defenses, fortifications. That's where we never got to. Alright, so carbon fortification looks really impressive. I've got to say, that looks good. Where best to stick something like this just to be able to do it? Right over here? That's kind of interesting. Uh, we have a gate there, but we could do this. That lets them go under the gate, and some of it could be over here. Though they may get shot in the back. Yeah, there's a 
Kind of an open fence right behind him. Hmm. Right over here, there's no gate going into there. So I could be kind of in this area. Now I'm in the gate now. Okay. So I have to be something like that. I can't go any further because it's a half space off. Hmm. Any advantage to that? Wish I didn't have all the green circles. Alright, so just kind of sitting there. Got a good aim. Good, nice view of the very opening of the gauntlet from there, huh? I like that. Maybe that's Rita's, uh, you know, crow's nest. She's a good shot. Okay. Is she your best shot? She was at the very beginning of the game. Activities. Hunting. Carter and Rita have now... And Umiar. Really? Oh, Umiar is interested, so he caught up real fast. Interesting. Okay. So Rita's not the... Uh, our top gun at the moment. You're constructing the last of the floor. Umiar is handling a cook stove. Okay, so malfunction battery. That's actually kind of a biggie. We need seven metal alloys and we have none. None. Okay. So this has got to get done real soon. Um, 1800. Is there anybody who I could... Repairing battery. We need more than just pull out. We need electronic. Okay. So you're just bringing the one part. Okay. So who's available to quickly make a, a uh, alloy batch? Sleeping. Cooking. Transporting. Simon is in decent shape otherwise. Edmund. Why don't you skip that and do this real quick? So, from ore? Do we have any left? I didn't think we did. Oh, we did get the, the ore brought in. Okay. So, let's make me one round from ore right there. So, you get to that one before Music Night triggers. Which it just did. Okay, so you're done. No, you're going to stay. You're going to stay. Rot it away. No queued research. We're good there. Music Night. <clears throat> Celebrating. Paulette, you will as soon as you finish your bar. Uh, Umiar, let's trigger you. Get you in here. And Kana, let's get you up. Um, draft, undraft, that'll do it. Rita, where are you at? You are transporting. Okay. You're going to take a while. Let's draft, undraft, and get you officially part of the uh, celebration. So who's left? Paulette... And Kana. Uh, Kana. You will not get up. Interesting. I have Kana. The rest is a 21. And she will not respond. Huh. If I were to tell her to play the didgeridoo... That got her up, but she will not respond for combat when she's that tired. Wow. I didn't know that was a thing. Draft, undraft. Gathering for celebration. Okay. So Paula is gathering for celebration. That is seven little happy horns there. Okay. Attending music night. Oh, we should have had more instruments made by now. Is there space for another instrument? I actually don't know. If I were to copy you... Um... I guess it'll kind of let me, but it's sure blocking things. There? No, because they can't... Yes, they can get around. So I guess I could try you right there, though. You can only get to her from one place. But yeah, let's get that just so it's here next time. Alright, music night. Where's the best view? I guess inside this window. Let's turn all these off. There we go. Yep. So we're mostly through spring. 
So it's not any particular day of the year. We got our malfunctioning uh, lamp over here, sparking away. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I'm going to call this episode done. This is a good way to good way to end it. Yeah, they'll all head to bed afterward. It'll be midnight. So with that, I'm going to call this one finished. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.